if you think you've woken up in the twilight zone, you're wrong. You've woken up inside the eugenics-run New World Order, the scientific dictatorship. Yeah, it's crazy to see the United States and NATO hand Libya over to Al-Qaeda. Now they've got all those heat-seeking missiles. Don't worry, the government will take our rights and keep us safe. If you think it's unbelievable that the ATF would ship guns into Mexico and drugs back into the United States and nobody would get in trouble. This dark ride into the New World Order has only begun. This next report, followed by Aaron Dykes, is titled, Bisphenol A, Death by Plastic. This stuff is all around us. It's linked to cancer, conclusively proven. Uh, the doubling of diabetes cases in the last year and more. This is how the globalists are poisoning us. And Aaron Dykes has filed this extremely powerful report. You think it's just in plastic bottles? Think again. It's in almost everything. Scientists have known for decades, since the 1930s at least, and alternative news sources like Infowars.com have long documented that the compound bisphenol A, BPA, disrupts the hormonal system, causes infertility and even cancer. But governments didn't warn about the dangers of BPA, widely used in plastic bottles, food cans, and soda cans, and until only a few years ago. For more on why, I filed this report for InfoWars Nightly News. This phenol A. When you open up a can, that lining may contain a synthetic estrogen. That's right, a sex hormone. BPA is unsafe and can lead to cancer, diabetes, and other diseases. BPA is what is known as an endocrine disruptor. Canada became the first country in 2010 to ban the use of BPA in just some products, and Europe soon adopted many of these bans. However, in the U.S., the Food and Drug Administration has been much more reluctant to admit the dangers. The Food and Drug Administration is not ready to sound the alarm. The Food and Drug Administration says the chemical known as BPA is not dangerous. This despite the fact that a 2004 CDC study found BPA in the urine of well over 90 percent of the U.S. population. Consumer awareness has created a trend against its use in many products in lieu of a ban. But BPA, which can alter sexual behavior and much more, has increasingly been found in abundance in a wide range of products, many of which you may not expect. This includes most of the printed store receipts, money, printer ink, dental amalgams and fillings, baby formulas, cosmetics, and now similar estrogen mimicking hormones have even been found in top name brand clothing. Efforts to eliminate contact with bisphenol A must combat with the increasing places it pops up unexpectedly in our modern lives. And what else could pop up? Research conducted at top institutes like Harvard and Yale found that BPA has widespread effects, including neurological, thyroid, and dopaminergic issues, obesity as well as low weight, fetal development, carcinogenic effects including breast and prostate cancer. Its impact on hormones in both men and women can negatively affect the reproductive and sexual system. Studies on lab animals, including primates, found permanent changes to the genital tract, changes in breast tissue predisposing to carcinogens, long-term reproductive and carcinogenic effects, increased prostate weight, early onset of puberty, longer estrus, decline in testosterone, increase of anogenital distance in both genders, greater sensitivity to hormones and cancer, decreased maternal behaviors, adverse neurological development, disrupted ovarian development, and reversal of normal sex differences in brain structure and development. But just reporting these scientific facts has caused Alex Jones to be attacked by Media Matters and others for supposed gay bashing. The reason there's so many gay people now is because it's a chemical warfare operation. I have the government documents where they said they're going to encourage homosexuality with chemicals so that people don't have children. I even catch myself, Bob, drinking out of these estrogen uh, mimickers. But the disruption of the body's endocrine system by pollutants put in place by man has nothing to do with sexual preference, nor what God or nature intended. In 1994, the Pentagon admittedly sought the development of a, quote, gay bomb in which it would use non-lethal chemical weapons to disrupt hormones and create widespread homosexuality, but it's happening every day in a less dramatic fashion, and the products we eat and drink, touch, and come into contact with. Are we really afraid to face the reality of social engineering through chemical assault due to politically correct taboos? 
the elite have stated their eugenics and depopulation agenda ad nauseum, and yet for the past 50 years, sperm rates have continued to plummet, and BPA is admittedly linked to male infertility. We're losing our humanity to this chemical subterfuge through GMOs, BPA, and other materials. We face a children of men scenario of near total infertility, and we must own up to these facts before it's too late. Back to you, Alex. Thank you so much, Aaron. And I notice here, um, U.S. diabetes rate doubles in last decade. That's out of the Associated Press. Most cancers have doubled in the last 10 years. They're talking about almost complete infertility by 2025 in the Western world. And a big part of it is BPA. But if you talk about fish and uh, amphibians like frogs, now having their gender destroyed, you are being homophobic towards frogs. No, that is all just a globalist distraction to keep us from looking at the facts of what this system is truly engaging in. This is a nightmare situation that our society faces, and bisphenol A is only one small part of this larger program. The sodium fluoride in the water, the radioactive isotopes added with the fluoride in most water systems, the GMO with insect genes and plants and pesticides engineered into the plants. In every major animal study, it's reducing fertility or outright causing mutations and total sterilization within three generations in rats, guinea pigs, you name it. The truth is, Hitler picked up his whole eugenics program from the United States and England. I cover that in my seminal film, Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement. And after World War II, when they got embarrassed and the world woke up to them, they openly said in Eugenics Quarterly and other publications, we're going to go underground. We're going to repackage our system. We're going to hide things in the food and water, and we're going to get these people. And, of course, John P. Holdren, the White House science czar, wrote, we need to come up with sterilants hidden in the food and water. So many others talked about it as well. Aldous Huxley, his brother, Julian Huxley, Bertrand Russell. It's up to you to go search out these facts and look it up for yourself and discover that this is the real issue, not what's coming up on television tonight on Dancing with the Stars. I hope you realize this is groundbreaking information, that it's up to you to research the facts for yourself and discover that not only are we telling you the truth, but it's far worse than we can even reveal to you here because there's so much evidence. Check it out for yourself. We're going to go to break and come back with a federal government program of shipping guns into Mexico and drugs back in the United States to destabilize North America and attack the Second Amendment. Larry Pratt and the ATF gun running scandal. Straight ahead.